Hi folks, this tutorial is going to run you through the basic um, process uh, in order to print uh, schedules from SAMS um, after your synchronization from front office. I'm going to take you through um, the first bit which I did outline in today's email, the 27th of March 2018, um, which was basically that you needed to go to uh, 12.7.16.3, uh, 0.16 should I say, 0.3, maintain uh, results per subject, okay, and what you needed to do was bring up each subject, um, then I did describe in the email if you had come across, <coughs> excuse me, something like this, uh, where there was a, a light red coloring and a seemingly large number, that that had meant that there was a difference between the calculation on the SAMS mark sheet and the mark sitting in the report mark, um, which is not a problem. You simply go to the section 12.3.12 and bring up the mark sheet and simply click save. Okay, done, and then go back to 12.7.16, and you may still see the mark there, uh, the discrepancy there. Um, what it is is that a mark has been added for that learner after the rest of the marks were, were, were added, so it came in later on, or separately should I say. So you simply click save. And you'll see that that mark then pulls through from the mark sheet, so it's no longer a problem. Okay. And, <clears throat> excuse me, then what you do is, um, I did explain that you need to maintain your pro your promotion descriptors. Okay. All right. And you do it according to the shots I sent in the email. It was also sent out by the department, which looked as follows. So you need to put the um, descriptors in at the bottom as follows, P and achieve promoted progressed. Then click on NP, click P, NP, then click save. Okay. All right, and then done. Then once you have done all the classes in section 12.7.16.3, so we go to Creative Arts, for instance, okay, save, and so on through all the subjects in that grade. Here is another example of um, not only um, an issue where you see what seems like a high mark, but also minus twos uh, all the way down. This is just simply the mark sheet needing to be saved on the uh, in the SPA section. You will notice that in this case the task columns were red. This was um, the slight glitch that I had spoken about in my email. Uh, dated 27th of March 2018, today. Um, it's nothing to worry about. It doesn't change anything. Um, as I said, something we'll get to, to automate um, and have for the most part. There's just a few subjects where it happens. Um, as I say, all it, all it requires is for you to come and, and have click save, and you'll, know, and you'll know when you need to do it based on the previous screen that we were in. So you come back to your screen, and you'll see all the marks are there now that. Right, once you've completed all the maintenance of results per subject, then you are able to go to the promotions page. Okay, and this is the bit I mentioned in today's email that needs to be added, dated 28th of the 3rd. Um, and you'll see that the marks have come out and this is where you would come in and 
same as at the end of last year, if you were to change results, um, put a deviation comment in, um, if you were to change the code, um, not sure that it is completely necessary to do adjustments now as it really only is at the end of the year where um, the final uh, final promotion results is, is established. But if you wish to, you would change the result and offer a deviation comment. Let's say pass due to age cohort. Okay, we go done, and then you would be able to print schedules. Say grade nine. Okay, we do have a way of getting these first two columns to populate your. Notice the subjects do put themselves anyway, English First Additional Language and English Home Language. Um, we're just getting the solution from Tim at the moment. Uh, we just need to build it in, but at the moment, as I say, the schedule does produce itself. Um, and of course, you can change it to, to marks as well. Okay. Of course, this is all dummy data, folks. Always is in any of these videos. Right, that concludes this short tutorial on printing schedules at the end of term one in SAMS.